In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how remediation works. So let's jump right in. I have a Captivate question slide here. So in the previous versions of Captivate, if a learner actually got this question wrong, then he would be given a score of zero and he would move on to the next question. Alternatively, you could set in quiz properties, you could set the number of attempts to four or you could set it to infinite in which case the learner is going to be stuck on this particular slide for multiple attempts till he gets this answer right through a process of elimination but he would still be none the wiser in terms of why was answer d correct now that's where remediation comes in if there was a way to take the learner back to a particular section of the course for a refresher and then bring him back to this particular quiz that would be a lot more useful and that's what we will attempt over here so in captivate 6 now in this particular quiz properties i can go in and change this action uh, failure action last attempt on last attempt from the default continue to jump to slide and i happen to know that the refresher for this particular segment of the course starts from slide 3 and I'm going to change it to slide 3. Now it doesn't finish with this because I need to go back to slide 3 and change some properties here so that the quiz remains active when this particular person comes back to the quiz. So in order to do that I click on the navigation button and I do two things. I need to set the navigation button to jump to the particular quiz slide post the refresher and I also need to ensure that the quest the question has been reset for this particular user so in order to do that I go to I click on uh, the button and then click go to properties and under properties the default action for that particular button is continue now it will remain continue in the normal process of navigation but during this branch scenario where the learner has arrived at the slide from uh, from the quiz we will change this to an action called return to quiz and now let's preview the course i'm going to preview the entire project and see how this works i'm going to browse through this quickly here so that we can get to the part that we are interested in. Now remember, this was the slide that I changed the action of the arrow button. But since we are navigating through linearly currently, this button remembers that it has to go to continue. It performs the action of continue. And we keep going till I hit the quiz slide. And on this particular quiz slide, I'm going to answer it wrong. So the question is, on average, by what age do children move into formal into the formal operation stage of cognitive development? I'm going to choose eight, and I'm going to click on submit, and it says the answer is incorrect, and I should click anywhere to continue. Clicking anywhere brings me back to the section of the course which provides a refresher for that particular question. So I can go read up on the reasonings for why I was wrong and now attempt the quest again and for doing that all I have to do is click on the next navigation button it take this time it actually takes me back to the quiz in the quiz now hopefully I can get it right this time based on my reading I click on 12 years and I click on submit and it says yes correct and I can move on hope you like this tutorial do write to us in case you have any questions thanks Thank you.